So on the index page, we uh, I'm gonna create a uh, the title of the web page. Let's say what well, what what's the plan? Um, apples, and then hit enter key. Just this is just uh, like um, this is an editor web editor application, and it looks and behaves like almost like a word processing application like uh, Microsoft Word. You just type and you'll see it. And just footnote, if you just go ahead and click on the code and this, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, um, is the HTML or XHTML code. Um, and that's the text that I just typed it in and is surrounded by uh, P tag or the paragraph tag and so on. Anyway, so that's how you navigate. You can split. You can have a split view or design view. But for now, I'm going to just stick to the design view and uh, hit the enter key here. And then I'll highlight the text, uh, apples. And I'm going to change in the properties panel here, uh, I'm going to change it to H1. That's heading 1. And then uh, let's see. Um, and then I'm, I come down here. Let's let's put the links. Uh, we have home, one space, uh, Granny Smith. Now let's put dash to kind of a distinguish between different links, separate links. And then the third one is Red Delicious. And hit the enter key. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get some text. Uh, you can just type whatever you want, especially for this home first website. But let's do something easier. So let's say I go to, um, oh, okay. So I can go ahead and using uh, Wikipedia, I can just go to apples. Uh, huh, this is going to be interesting. When I Wikipedia uh, I Apple, do I go to Apple that we eat or the Apple computer? <laughs> so we are here. So, um, so I'm going to just go ahead and highlight this. Right click and copy. And then come here and to Dreamweaver, right click and paste. I just want to show you uh, where's paste? Ah, here it is. What happens? Uh, did I copy it? I thought I did. I have a control C and Dreamweaver and control uh, control V. Yeah, here we are. So notice that it not only copied and pasted the, uh, the the text but also copied all these links and all that. Well it's good in a way but we don't really want to do that because um, it basically we are in a way I don't know stealing or and more importantly we want to have our own links, formatting text, and so on. So what we really need is not all this stuff. For that matter, I can just show you here uh, code. Look at all this code. That's way too much and it could potentially later on create a huge mess and we don't want to we don't want to go there. So what I want is just text. So for that, I need to clean up all this gunk stuff, um, the formatting and links and, and that sort of kind of tags behind the text. To do so, the one easy way is using um, application, kind of ancient word processing application called Notepad. So go to Start, All, uh, all Programs, Accessories, and Notepad. And then I just paste that text. So it removes most of the 
uh, formatting tags and then I copy it again from Notepad and then paste it and you see it removed all the uh, formatting tags and just text so that's what I want okay so to remove gunks from the internet use Notepad of course you have to copy and paste into Notepad and then you have to copy it again from Notepad and paste it into Dreamweaver. So we have a text here, and let's put um, let's put an image. Um, so let's go here, and let's see, Granny Smith, um, hmm, I could use that. By the way, you can just simply Google it or Bing it. You know, Microsoft website has um, web search engine, Bing or Google or anywhere. So anyway, let's say you found this image that you want to use. So this is um, a rendering. This image is a rendering of a web um, image file and it, you can download it by right-clicking on the image and then save let's see hmm save image as and then where do you download it and save it well let's go to uh, my documents MIC215 Apple site and images. So I'm saving it in inside of images folder that is part of the Apple site. Okay. And what am I going to name it? Remember? I decided I go to, I'm gonna name it G underscore S dot G, uh, ping. Well this is not accurate because it's going to be JPG because that's the file type of this image. Since we use borrowing the image from the internet, we just don't have much choice in terms of the file type. Of course, in real uh, web site project you will have control of what file type of images that you will use you know you will use uh, uh, Photoshop for example to create an image and um, save it as w uh, whichever uh, image file type you want but for now we're going to just u stick to JPG which is the original format um, so G underscore uh, S and then we don't need to specify dot JPG you don't need to in fact it's probably easier to just leave it as as it is um, and let the computer add um, file extension for you I mean Dreamweaver let the Dreamweaver add the file extension for you okay and go ahead and save it and while we are here, uh, let's uh, go get some, let's see, Red Delicious. Um, images. Wow, look at that. So let's say I'm going to use that one. And right click. Uh, save images. And I think is all underscore D and save so both of my images are in JPEG type so here and I'm going to put an image right there and notice that as I do that um, I see the files showing image files showing on the images folder and it has each one has JPG file extension and if you don't see it that's okay you can just click on the refresh button and it'll show up 
and also here this is like a toggle switch ex uh, collapsing and expanding to see what's under a uh, certain folder and putting an image is very simple there are many different ways but one of the easiest way to insert an image is click the file and drag it and when it becomes when you see the uh, insertion point right there and I'm not sure if you see it but right there let go and then you will be prompted with this dialog box uh, alternate text let's say um, this is Granny Smith and go ahead and click on OK and there you go and under the properties under the properties you can see the alt is green smiths and the source SLC is a source which indicates that file and then you can do different things um, aligning you can put borders uh, three um, align default let's say I'm gonna use um, left so you can try with different alignment and they all have different properties and let's say I'm gonna use that and also once you have that image you can click on it and then you see kind of dots in the score um, in the corner and the side you can just move your pointer click and then you can resize it whichever way that you want so that's it um, let's I'm gonna go ahead and save it it's not complete because we still have to put um, the links okay let's go 